Yesterday, I asked you the following question. What happens if you take the square root of one plus the square root of one plus the square root of one plus the square root of one and so on and so on forever and ever? What does this equal? Hmm. Now, the first thing to say is that actually what makes this problem doable is the fact that this is an infinitely repeating pattern. Now, it doesn't do too well to try and get your head around infinitely repeating things, whether it's infinite sums or infinitely recursive operations, because they don't make a lot of sense intuitively. Often, things that involve infinite sums can actually behave pretty counterintuitively to what you might expect. But this isn't actually something to worry about, because practically, you can never actually compute an infinite sum anyway. So in some sense, the idea of doing anything infinitely is quite an abstract mathematical idea in itself. So the first part of this trick is to let the thing we're trying to calculate the value of, this nested infinite square root, equal x, just some unknown variable. Now because this pattern is infinite, if I remove one of these outermost square roots, i.e. by squaring the expression, the thing that's left over to the right of the plus one is actually still the same expression as before, because Again, infinity not being a real number, when you subtract one from it, it's still basically infinite. So if I call that part that is still equal to x, x, and if I move my head so you can see it, I actually get a little equation here in terms of the unknown variable x. This equation, if I put all the terms to the left-hand side, is in the standard form of what we call a quadratic equation, meaning it has an unknown variable squared, the unknown variable on its own, and a constant term as well. Now fortunately, quadratic equations are quite straightforward to solve. One way of doing this without fail is to use what's called the quadratic formula. This formula tells you exactly what the two solutions in general, sometimes only one, sometimes actually none that are real, but at most two, will be in terms of these coefficients, a, b, and c, that are just the numbers that multiply the x squared, the x, and then the constant term is the c. So when we do this for our quadratic, you see we end up with the following solution. x is equal to one plus the square root of five divided by two. Now we only needed to take the positive solution here because as we were dealing with the arithmetic operation square rooting, which by definition is positive, we only have to take the positive root because we know that our overall answer is gonna be a positive number. So this is what our infinite nested square root equals, one plus the square root of five over two or about 1.618. But more commonly we call this number Number, the golden ratio and it's extremely important in mathematics it's an irrational number it's got deep links with fractals and Fibonacci sequences and even quasi crystals in physics it's an extremely important number so there we go somewhat counterintuitively the answer is not infinite it is actually a finite number and a pretty remarkable finite number at that